I know this is a little late, however, I did do the quests and get all the powers like two or three days ago, but I wasn't really able to record until now. I also got a ton of auras, I'm missing only one, so I'll show off those later as well. But first of all, I'm gonna go through the three new powers. The first one is, of course, Luffy's Gear 4. There we go. It's got its own running animations, jumping animations, even its own flying animations as well. It's a little hop sound effects. What it does, of course, is decreases incoming damage by 25% and increases the damage you deal by 20%. I'm also going to show this off because I didn't last time, Sid's little 10% chance thing. Whenever an enemy hits you, he has a 10% chance to activate his ability. Once it activates, it'll have a 90 second cooldown, but I just have to, um... There it is! Yep, so as you can see, that was his. I think it's about the same exact size as the normal one. Speaking of, second ability that I'm going to show off is, of course, I am Atomic. Giant AoE ability. A lot of damage. As you can see here, Atomic, swing your sword. The strength move. S swing your sword. The strength move. Don't worry about it. But anyways, yeah. That's a big range. I think it can cover pretty much this whole area. If I... Yep, I am right. There we go. It does a lot of damage, too. As you can see, out of 100, it brings them down to 23. But yeah, now uh, finally I can do the... I am Atomic. <laughs> Hell yeah. Also show it on these PvP dummies as well, because obviously it does different damage based off PvP or PvE, and based off if you have gear 4 equipped or not. For context, this is what my strength looks like, 128 trillion, and in terms of damage, it deals about 83, no, 837 it looked like, 837 trillion damage over and over again. Gear 4 equipped, it does 1 quadrillion. Also things are destructible. In case you didn't know, I know some people don't, but no, yeah, you can actually destroy the environment here, which is really cool. And the final new move, which is a sword ability, right here, Tornado Slash. You spin a little bit, it makes a little star thing. Yeah, it sends out a beam as well. I don't know how long ranged it is. It might be like, really. Like if I aim from here and do it. Yeah, no, it's a really long ranged ability too. And I'm pretty sure since you can aim it anywhere, say someone's like flying over there or something, that's the wrong one. So someone's like flying over there or something, you can just snipe them out of the air with a tornado. Weapon, 80 trillion, and in terms of damage, this does like around one point something quad, I think. Yeah, about 1.5 it seems. And with gear four, it does about 1.8. Yeah, that's every new ability. And now I'm gonna show off the auras I have. Of course, right now I have Atomic equipped, but if you go into your inventory, click on Auras, they're all right here. I hate how it's not exactly in order either, even though it's sorted by rarity. Like, 1 in 4, 1 in 100, 1 in 2, but whatever. I'll just go in the order that they're in my inventory. So the actual amount will be out of order, but it'll be in this order. All of them have a custom pose as well. This one is Science, some question marks, some hashtags. This one is Ripple. It's got some lightning effects around you. The actual, you know or on your hands in this pose. Tornado, Tatsumaki's pose. Big green psychic tornado around you. Love, of course, pretty simple, just some hearts. Atomic, which you've already seen, I've had it. And it's just the pose he makes before doing the ability. Got some stars and the purple aura around you. Observation, which is more like Conqueror's hockey looking than observation hockey. But it's just got some red and black lightning around you, this little like aura next to your head. Pretty neat stance as well. Got monster. This is the pose for that. Some lights coming off of you. Invincible, which is just a little cross pose almost, standing, and then big purple star above you and a radiance around you. Pride, of course, Escanor, just the ball of fire, fiery hands, everything like that. Wrath, which I don't know what this is. By far, I think this one is my least favorite because the aura on you just kind of covers up your whole body and looks like just purple flames and then there's just these two big orbs. You can't really even see the stance because you're just covered by fire. This one's devil, got the flaming feet. This one's devil, just hover a little bit and pose with your feet on fire and this little blood or fire thing here as well. Darkness, which is pretty cool but it's also my second least favorite because it has this big just dark circle under you so when you're flying it's just a black hole 
which I guess is kind of cool, but at the same time, it's a little obtrusive at times. But the pose is neat. And then finally, uh, uh, Samurai, I guess. It, it looks like Samurai, but with weird symbols. That's all the auras I have. The final one is Death. I do have a screenshot of what Death looks like from the general chat of the Discord. Someone showed it, but that's about it. There will be a new update at 4 p.m. today. By the time this is uploaded, it might actually already be out and that will introduce new auras and some new training areas. But I just wanted to record this because, like I said, I've had the abilities for a few days, but I just haven't been able to record. But yeah, for now, that's all. Like, subscribe. Thank you for watching.